if people have driven up Highway 77 and really thought there was nothing here, I think all they have to do is veer off the highway a little. There's a little bit of something for everyone. Well, we started out doing yard sales when we were younger and we loved it. We made like $500 one weekend and so we, we thought, wow. So we came in, opened all the boxes, sold, and it was junk, it was junk, junk. It started out as just a little junk shop and it's evolved in the last 31 years to an antique store, an art gallery, and a consignment shop. Oh my gosh, it's like for a European type pillow. Mm -hmm. I came here uh, in 1970, I was very young, and I've lived here all my life. I've raised two boys here, me and my husband Jerry, been married 43 years. Oracle is unique, it's very eclectic. Three, two, one. It all began uh, when my business partner Brandon Luthi approached uh, my father and I with the idea of building something amazing out here to bring people outside uh, to experience this area. All right, all you got to do is take a seat and lift those feet. You'll get rolling. Have fun. All and right. And with my history in the ropes course industry and my father's land, we all just kind of came together and made it happen kind of exciting, exhilarating. It was fun. It was it was definitely an adventure. The way that everyone comes together is pretty incredible. And when we were building this, we felt a ton of support from our town and our community. And that's something that drove us to building this business, kind of reignite our community and bring a little bit more life into it. Wonderful. It's a really a um, symbiotic relationship between us and the community. We're there to support anything that the community is doing, and in return, you know, the community's really supported us. I have two small kids, and I'm home with them with dinner every night, and I'm involved in their lives, and I, I have the opportunity to practice my art the way I want to, and and still have a good family life. We are known for our area historically. Uh, we've had Hollywood celebrities come and stay at our guest ranches. Buffalo Bill has been here. I know we, we've looked at having Buffalo Bill days. We've had a couple of those. I myself even, I learn a little bit more every day. Well, the first mine in Oracle, it was these three guys that came up here in 1880, 1879, 1880, and, and did some mining claims and they were digging and all this water came out of the ground like an artesian well and so they couldn't mine so they started a sheep ranch. <laughs> this building uh, came into the picture uh, they homesteaded in 1880 and this was probably built out around 1885 a as a boarding house for either for people that came out from Tucson to escape the heat or for people that were working in the mines. The mining was what brought people up here originally and then at just about the same time, some people just went into cattle ranching. And then the health resort industry started around 1890. And then around 1900 is when the cattle ranching became much larger. It is a guest ranch that was built between uh, 1917 and 1930. And it was always meant for rest and relaxation. It was never a working cattle ranch. In fact, the man who built it had fruit fields where Scottsdale and Arcadia are now, and this was built as his high mountain getaway for him and his wife and all of his friends from back east to come and enjoy horses and laze around, uh, you know, in the sun. I've had a lot of different spiritual people come through here, Buddhists, shamanic order, Christians, and they all say that it has a real positive feeling. And out of about the 30 weddings that we've done, I believe we've got 19 babies or so within the first year, which are called ranch babies. I haven't had a bad event yet, and I should probably find one of these big oak trees to knock on for that. This is Rancho Linda Vista in Oracle, Arizona, and uh, it has been uh, a long history, first as a cattle ranch, then a guest ranch. And in 1968, it was bought by a group of artists, mostly from the University of Arizona Art Department. 
and set up as a, um, a trust and a corporation. Uh, people could become part of it and live here and do art here and enjoy a community of like-minded people. We can see the back of Mount Lemmon from here and we can judge the snow by the, the uh, ski slope. We can see it from here. So we feel very um, surrounded by nature. It's very beautiful, quiet, um, but increasingly rich community. Um, we couldn't ask for a better staff and the people that come out are just as amazing as they are. Everyone that comes out is excited to try something new and have fun and really push themselves. And, and that's why we continue to do this. Um, I think the biggest draw for me being an Arizona native is that it rarely gets above 100 degrees. You know, at 4,700 feet, 37 miles away from where I grew up in Tucson, um, you know, I can invite my family to get up and out of that heat and come here on the backside of the Santa Catalinas and um, almost be a world away. I have one person told me early on that Oracle chooses its residents and there seems to be some, some little faith that works in that regard. I would tell people, explore a little. Don't be afraid to explore because there's more than meets the eye when you come to Oracle.